So this next section, we just talked about perimeter. Now we're going to talk about area. Now area, before we can even get to that, we need to understand a little something about, about area. Suppose I say this guy is, you know, one, it's a one centimeter square. So it's got one centimeter edges all the way around. Okay, whether or not that's true or not depends on how large the window is that you're viewing this video in. Okay? So what we would say here is that this guy is one square centimeter like that. So we would read this as one square centimeter. But we would write it like this. This is how we would write it. Okay. When we see these square units, that means we're talking about area. Area is measured in square units. Okay. Now there are some words that we use for area that we don't say square with them. If we're talking about the area of the floor in this room, we might be talking about square feet. If you're talking about area for a plot of land, we usually use words like acre. Okay. We don't say square acres but an acre is used to measure a certain amount of, of area. If I were to, of course, make this a little bit large, I'm just kind of spitballing it here, eyeballing it, thinking, okay, maybe this is about, right, nobody, you know, I think maybe later I'll put a, a ruler up, up to this. I can do it right now. Yeah, I'll do it later. So if this is one inch by one inch, then this whole thing, all of the area here is what? we would say is one square inch like that. So when we talk about area, we're talking about how many of these squares of you know, a particular unit, whether it be inches, centimeters, miles, whatever, how many of these guys would fit inside a particular shape? Okay, That's what we're talking about when we talk about area. You with me on that? It's how many square units you can fit. So I thought we could do something like this. Let me just slide this up here. So I don't know if you guys can see this very well, but this is just, it's just a grid. It looks like a little piece of graph paper for us, okay? If I were to draw, see this shape right here. If I were talking about the area, I'm talking about how many square units do I have here. If I were saying that each piece right here, I'm saying that each one of these is one centimeter, for example, right? What is the height of this guy, or what's the width of this rectangle? How many units is that? So this is five centimeters. And what's the length, or what's the base of this guy? It's eight. Okay. Now, if I were to just stop right here and say, what's the perimeter? We could find the perimeter, right? Because mm -hmm. you remember the perimeter is twice the length plus twice the width, right? So the perimeter of this, you have twice eight centimeters and then twice five centimeters, because if you were to go around, you'd have another eight centimeters up here and five centimeters on the side, right? So if I do the math here, that's 16 plus 10, and altogether my perimeter would be 26 centimeters. Do you all agree? Now notice what I'm doing here is I'm counting the units. As I go around here, as I count one, two, three, four, and so on. How many of these units do I have as I go all the way around? If I had this broken up and said, you know, each of these guys is a stick, how many sticks would it take to lay out this diagram? That's a linear measurement, what you could lay out in a line, and you'd have 26 centimeters, right? Okay. If you ever look at some of these biblical measurements, something is so many rods in length. 
you know, how long is a rod? I think a rod is one and a half feet, or close enough to our, our measurements, was it four and a half? It was one, I think it was one and a half yards. I don't know, I get conf I, I lose track of that stuff. But anyway, you, know, you, you can measure things in rods. Like if you were to lay down a rod, lay down a stick like this, and then you keep laying down, how many rods, how many lengths will that be? Okay. When we're talking about area, I'm talking about how many squares would I have inside of this. Now, I'm using graph paper here, so it should be easy enough to count this. Now, here's what I don't want you to do. I don't want you to go, okay, I've got one, two, three, four, five. You could do that, but it's a waste. Because, look, how many squares do you have in this column? In this, you have five square units, right? Five square centimeters. But you have this not just once, but you have it how many times? Eight. If you have eight sets of five, you're not going to add five plus five plus five plus five. You could, but if you keep adding the same number over and over, that's when we start talking about what operation? Multiplication. If you keep adding the same number, we multiply, right? So for us, when we talk about the area, the area for us here would be eight centimeters times five centimeters. So if I do this multiplication, what's eight times five? That's 40, but it's not 40 centimeters because we're talking about the squares that are in here, right? And each square is what? It's a square centimeter because it's a square with a side length of one centimeter. So if I had a bunch of cut up centimeters or square centimeters, I could fit 40 of them in this diagram, right? And you, can, and you can sit there and take your time and count that if you want to. But if we are always left to count those squares, it's going to take us a long time, especially when these numbers start to get a lot larger, right? And you know the numbers can get a lot larger than eight by five. If you guys live in a house or an apartment or anything like that, your rooms have dimension. There, there's, there's a length and there's a width to it. And you can find the area. I mean, an 8 by 5 room could be pretty small when you think about it. All right. So in general, what we have here, especially for something like a rectangle, we would have that the area <coughs> is a product of the base times the height, or if it makes you feel better, you can say that this is length times width. It's a product. It's multiplication. Okay. So let's take this and let's expand this to some other things. Let's see some more examples of this. Okay. So going back to the page that I just had here, we're talking about the area we had the squares and what if I just made a square like this if I tell you this is a square and I say this guy is um, say nine inches okay definitely not to scale but this is nine inches that means this other side is nine inches right what do you think the area would be for this guy, considering what we just looked at for the rectangle? How would I go about figuring this out? What, would, what are the steps that you would take? You do what? Not nine times, nine times four give me perimeter. Oh. But if I'm looking for area, I'm looking for how many squares would I have in here? I have nine inches this way, nine inches that way. So I would have 9 inches times 9 inches, which all together would give us what? 81 square inches. And we will say square inches. I don't like inches squared. That bothers me. Say square inches. Okay. What did you notice what we did to get the area or to get the area for the square? It was length times width, but since they were the same, we just ended up taking that number and t multiplying it times itself, right? And what's another way of saying that? 
if in general I have a square with side length s, wouldn't the area be side times side, which in this case is the length and the width multiplied together? And what happens if you do side times side? How can I simplify that expression? What's another way of saying s times s? You can say s squared or side squared. So for a square, since the length and the width are the exact same, you can just square that and that gives you the area, just like we did in the last example. So here's one of those formulas that you really need to know. Super, super important, not just here, but always and forever. So if I give you this diagram and I say this is a square, It's a square with your side length equal to twelve feet. Okay. So I don't have it labeled in the diagram for you, but you should be able to do that yourself. So we're saying that this guy is twelve feet by twelve feet, right? So here's the question for you. One, what is perimeter? What, is, what does perimeter mean? What did it mean in the last section? It meant what is the distance around, right? If you took a string or sticks to measure the distance around, and for a square, what's the formula? <coughs> it's 4s because you have all four sides being the same length, right? So here your perimeter is 4 times 12 feet, and that gives you what? That gives you 48 feet. So if I were measuring the distance around this, it would be 48 feet. Do you all agree with that? Okay. Now, if I change this and I say I don't want the perimeter, but I want the area. What did I say the formula for the area of a square is? Base times we can say base times height, but there's the formula where it's just s squared, right? So that's s squared. What is my s in this case? So I'm trying to take 12 feet, and I want to square that. All right. What's 12 squared? 12 times 12 is 144. Now, if I square feet, I end up with what? No, if you square feet, you end up with square feet. It almost sounds like it's too easy to be true, but that's what it is. You can multiply units together just like I did s times s here. s times s was s squared, right? Because the 2 tells me how many factors I see of the s. You can do that with units, too. If you do feet times feet, you get square feet. So notice that the same shape, the perimeter, is a different number than the area. I mean, it's not always the case, but a lot of times it is. So don't think that the perimeter is the area or, or vice versa. You have to look at each shape in each picture to get an idea of, okay, what is the perimeter and what's the area? Now, there are a lot of other different ways that I could come up with 144 square feet in a diagram, okay? Because you could form a lot of rectangles that have a certain base and a height or length and width that would give you 144 square feet, but their perimeter wouldn't be 48. 